Go right in the living room, girls. Okay? Thursday is a busy night at Dottie Brown's house. Oh, hi, Kathy. Friends have been coming to Dottie's living room for over a decade to sit and knit. We have a show and tell. I don't have anything to show. I used to do beautiful things. I can't see to read a pattern. Dottie has been knitting for over a hundred years. Well, my mother taught me to knit when I was four years old, and she made me turn a sock. Now, I don't know if I could do that today. I sit and cry and cry, and my mother say, take it out, do it over again, till you get it right. Nowadays, she sticks to scarves and hats that she donates to charity. But when her eyes fail her, the women lend a helping hand. Did I make a mess? No, yeah, you just, you, you, you had, skipped a, you had no, dropped the stitch and I'm picking it up for you. Oh, you're fine. Oh. While they have a lot of fun. <laughs> oh boy, I hate thumbs. <laughs> there are rules to sit in it. But there'll be no gossip. No gossip. We won't talk church. And we will have prayer at the table when we have our refreshment. If they want to come under those conditions, fine. And it's worked out beautifully. And it's not just the knitting that keeps the women coming week after week. She never complains. She never no, no. asks for anything for herself. She's just truly an amazing person. I love your laugh. <laughs> and I think it's one of those things that has kept her young. I eat well. I don't eat a lot. I can't eat much, but I eat well. I go to bed early. I've never... I've never touched alcohol. I tried smoking and got so sick I thought I was going to die, and that was the end of that. Dottie gave up driving in her 80s, but her friends make sure she gets everywhere she needs to be. Ginny, she picks me up for church every Sunday. So that she can teach Sunday school. And helps me with anything. Sandy, she takes my trash to her place. Somebody come, brings in my mail. But don't get the wrong impression, she isn't perfect. Very, very, very stubborn. Oh, yes! Oh, she, she is! Go there. Don't! I know when I started. I have to be. The women have started to put their foot down. I got up in the sink to take the curtain down and I couldn't find my step on the step ladder. I was stuck there for quite a while. She said, I'll do it after this. Rachel now cleans her curtains. You're like, you shouldn't have to wash your curtains anymore at, at 104. <laughs> Someone else will do it for you. Family, friends, and neighbors take her grocery shopping to run errands and even for pedicures. I try to do very large print crossword puzzles. I knit. I play solitaire with rook cards. And I try to keep my house decent. Not clean, but decent. The women do a lot more than just knit together. When I was 100, I won the snowshoe race. Dottie and friends snowshoed across Porter Lake in New Vineyard. She beat them all. Carol went with me because she faced In case I fell through the ice, she could pull me out. Every year, Dottie is in the Moxie Parade in Lewiston. She's 100 here. And my pastor and I rode a tandem bicycle, and I've got a lovely bike out in the barn, and I've been, been declared beheaded if I take it out. By whom? My son. For the last couple of years, she just sits on a float. We get the prize for the most Moxie. Dottie married George Brown in 1935. And what did you think when you met him? He was a hick. Oh, a hillbilly hick. <laughs> he was, but he got better. The couple were married for almost 60 years. He was a wonderful man, and it was a very good marriage. It really was. And they had two sons. We never had much, you know, really, of this world's goods. We never had a lot. But we had enough to be comfortable. I'm as old as I am. <laughs> and after 104 years, family, friends, worry, laughter, and a lot of knitting have made it a good life for Dottie Brown. Yeah, they take good care of me, I tell you. Yeah, I'm, I'm well blessed. <laughs> oh, boy.